Supposedly this park is allegedly haunted. Supposedly we had a few people been touched by certain things that are not there. I'm not really sure if I'm buying this, so that's why I'm over there. I'm gonna go check it out and see what's going on. Let's find out. And the Comanche Trail we go. Here's heavy. Wow. Wow, I'm having a hard time breathing. It's actually pretty heavy, guys. It's weird. This heavy is so heavy. I'm sure no one's following me. Yeah, here's somebody out here. Definitely not alone. I'm breathing. I do not know why. <sighs> Strange. I just warned there's someone behind me. So I'm in the ready. My alert is up. It's still a pretty cool out trail. Yeah, sorry about this, guys. I'm always turning around a lot. Because I don't know who's out there. So I have to be very careful. Wow. It's actually pretty creepy out here. I come here with nothing but respect for nature. I appreciate the wind and the earth and the water. Wow, this is the first time I'm actually having a hard time breathing. I feel like I'm suffocating. I don't know why. to breathe, that's for sure. Wow. And it's humid too. It's really humid when it comes to these trails. It's like really humid out here. It's normally not this humid. Plus, I gotta be careful out here too. Cause supposedly there's large cats out here, like bobcats.
There's a marker there. Make sure no one's behind me. I'm good. I'm clear. Look at that rabbit. Oh, that's so cool. See that rabbit? Cute little critter. Wow. I have never had a hard time breathing. I can definitely feel something here. It feels very strong, very ominous. They know I can sense them, and they know I can see them, or not see them, but sense them too. It feels really heavy. I'm not really sure how much longer I can continue this. I should not have this much trouble breathing. But I came all this way. I wanted to show you guys my city show you this area it's a really cool area you know Whew. I feel like an ominous presence here you know my girl was telling me earlier that she was seeing things in, in the park she thought it was me supposedly, but it wasn't. It was like a mirage in me. Like a copycat. I'm not really sure why. But, I told her, just be careful when you're out there. You know? I told her to stay, but she didn't want to listen. And we're getting pretty close to the Comanche Lookout Tower, because supposedly it's haunted. So I actually want to go out there and explore a little bit more. I'll probably get out of this area, because I know this has been getting a lot harder to breathe. We're almost there, folks. There's the lookout tower. It's really cool. Give me one moment, guys. Almost to the Berry Treasure. RMETs. We're almost to the Red Bark. It's down there. Nothing. Interesting trail, though. And here we are, folks. The Comanche Lookout. even spookier at night with no lights. Wow. Look at this, guys. And it's glorious, magnificent of a building. It's beautiful.
just like other way, other ways to get back into the trail so it leads you back into the parking lot or there's another area where you park around the neighborhood around look there's other series of trails that you can go on it's amazing just seeing this beautiful tower up close wow nothing but respect Nothing but respect for my history in Texas. Nothing but respect for people who built this place and who made this land possible for us to explore today. You know? This building's amazing. Hard to believe this building is like almost 300 years old. Maybe it might be older. You know? Who knows? It's, it's crazy. There's a rabbit there. Marvelous. It's not too often you see a beautiful building like this. You know? I'm gonna give it one last sweep before I go back. I just wanna at least show you this beauty of uh, architecture right here, folks. It's beautiful, it's amazing. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised that they were this smart back then. You know? See? Still, it's gorgeous. I can see why they fenced this all around. You know? Still. Oops, excuse me. Gorgeous building. Well, we made it all this way. Finally. Well, folks, I want us to say your last, take a last good look at this tower right here and all around the gated area. It's the last time you're ever going to see this. There's been a rumor going around. Supposedly, it might not be around very long because it's very uh, fragile. But. Appreciate the history, folks. Appreciate it. And it's an amazing architect that you don't find something like this in this time era anymore. You know? But we're about to head back out. So, let's get out of here. And let's get back home. Now we're on our way back home. Wow. The tower is actually amazing. Well, whatever's out here, and whoever's out here, I appreciate y'all, and I thank y'all very much, and I have nothing but the utmost respect for our ancestors that had made this soil and this beautiful trees that surround the park area and the Comanche Lookout. Nothing but respect. I just want to let y'all guys know. So don't go destroying parks in historic, in beautiful places like this, because there's a reason why it's preserved like this. So it can last for a lifetime. It can last for like hundreds of years, thousands of years, you know. It's amazing. It's like bugs biting me though. <laughs> well, I say it was worth the trip coming down all this way, you know? Wouldn't you agree, folks?
amazing. The air wasn't so heavy. You know, I don't. You know what I also noticed when I got further up to the tower, the air wasn't so heavy. But as soon as I get back down into the trail, the air starts to get heavy and hard to breathe again, which was weird. <laughs> you know, this park has a. It's unique. You could say it's kind of like supernatural a little bit. It has its own little, you know, charm going on for itself. You know? It's pretty crazy. And I guess as soon as I hit that tree line, right over there about to come across, the air is going to start getting really heavy again. You know? It's pretty crazy. Come on, guys. Soldier check. Around. Perfect. And here we go. Here it gets heavy again. Once more. It's pretty crazy. Supposedly there's like Indians, Apaches, and then Comanches. Supposedly the story behind the Comanche lookout. Supposedly uh, they seized it. Or it was just abandoned. It was used to uh, look out for any Comanches or Indians that are around the area or nearby from afar. But they seized it and they started using it to look out for other tribes or other soldiers to try to see if they were in their view by using the Comanche lookout. That's the reason why it's called the Comanche lookout. You know? But that's just a little bit of the story. Historians are still trying to discover more and they're trying to look more into it because nobody knows what happens. They just saw a really old tower there and they feel that that's what that tower is really used for is a lookout, you know? Fun fact though, I never knew. That's what that tower was for. I just thought it just looked good. It looked pretty. I never knew there was more of a story behind it. It intrigued me. That's why I came out here to explore. Because I wanted to see for myself. And supposedly it's haunted. Well, as far as this goes, well, even if it's not haunted, it still wouldn't bother, it still wouldn't stop me from going to explore such a magnificent place like this, you know? It's beautiful. It's not, again, you know, I have a lot of appreciation and respect, you know, for Mother Nature, you know. I do, a lot. Because God has a lot to offer here for us. So sometimes we just don't get it. And sometimes we let a lot of things distract us from the world when there's so much things to do. There's so many places to go see, you know. It's crazy. I liked it. You know? Well, I really do hope you enjoy this adventure with me as we go discover the Comanche Lookout Tower. I mean, like I said, guys, I just wanted to show you what it was about because it was pretty cool. There was like a lot of history behind it. Hold on, guys. Okay. Let's continue. This is so cool. It was worth coming out here. I mean, granted, it was like almost 30 minutes away from my home. But you know what? It was worth the trip to come all the way out here to see this glorified, historical looking Comanche Lookout Tower. I'm glad I got to see it. Oops, excuse me. And I hope you got to uh, enjoy what I saw too. It's amazing. And hopefully there'll be more exploration videos like this in the future. I know I haven't been exploring lately because there's a lot of things that have been going on, so that's why I did other videos like this. But there will definitely be more exploration videos for sure, folks, for you guys, you know.
Well, the air is a little bit heavy again, but it wasn't as bad, I guess, when you, when I was going up the hill. Maybe I'm just out of shape. I don't know. What do you guys think? I probably need to go back to the gym again. I heard something. I guess it was just the wind and some cars rolling by. Okay, just double checking. You never know. The woods have a little spooky surprise sometimes. Especially little critters like that little rabbit that just kind of startled me a little bit because it caught me off guard. You know? I sure like to know what in the world that is. I've never seen that before. And there's like another trail out that way. Strange. And there's another trail going out there. There's like several trails that you can pick to go on to the Comanche Lookout. You know? It's really cool. You know? And I think I see home. Well, guys. Uh, let me go ahead and let y'all go. Well, they made it back out. home and safe and sound, folks. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, adventure video of the Comanche Lookout Tower. Nobody ever knows what is the history behind that tower, but I hope you enjoyed the video that I put out there for y'all, folks. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and please do not forget to hit the belly. All right? Y'all have a wonderful night. God bless.